Hi guys. Vainglory has come a long way, hasn't it? In 2016, we had more than 1 billion plays. Our audience on Android tripled. Our esports audience grew by a factor of 10. But we wouldn't be where we are today without you guys, our awesome community. And together, with your help and support, we want to take Vainglory to the next level. In 2017, we were focused on three big goals. First, a buttery smooth play experience from the moment that you open the app. There are so many things we want to target. Leveling up the matchmaker, adding regional servers to improve players' connection speeds, adding communications options so that you can better communicate with your friends, and adding more ways for you to be able to express yourself, stand out, or make your mark in Vainglory. We have an entire roadmap planned and by the end of the year, we want Vainglory to be a fun and enjoyable experience no matter where you are and what device you are playing on. Second, more friggin' maps. Yeah, we said it. I know, you guys have been asking for this since the beginning. And you know what more maps means? Third, more gameplay modes that expand the Vainglory experience, whether you are a new player or a veteran player, whether you have five minutes to play or you've got all night. Those last two are kind of a big deal, so let's talk about them in a little bit more detail. Battle Royale. Our first official brawl mode of Vainglory is loved by a massive amount of our players every day, and we wanted to build on that momentum by expanding our brawl modes to include something truly tuned for just five minutes of fun. And thus, deep from within Super Evil Labs, Blitz was born. Brawl game modes are short and predictable in length, but have completely new rules and unexpected gameplay. Our brawl modes will be lighthearted and playful. Done right, they will offer veterans completely new experiences and teamfight choices, as well as providing players new to Vainglory a bridge into the classic game. This year, the brawl game modes are going to become a key part of the overall Vainglory experience. If you are standing in line and you have five minutes, you can play Blitz mode once. If you're at home and you're needing to leave in 10 minutes, you can play Blitz mode twice. It's just that easy. That means you can scratch that Vainglory itch anytime you want. Blitz and all of our Brawl game modes will also feature two things you haven't seen yet before in Vainglory. Their own map and a new progression system that we call Talents. For the Blitz Brawl map, we are experimenting with a bunch of different shapes and we're going to work with the beta community to find the best combination of strategy and teamfights. Our technology allows us to experiment in this area quite quickly and I'm personally excited to see all the weird and wonderful things the team does with it. The Talents progression system will add even more mayhem and fun to Brawl modes. Talents are a system where you collect hero coins to unlock and upgrade seriously cool new versions of regular hero abilities used exclusively in Brawl modes. Check this out. Taka absolutely destroys up to three targets with a single x Retsu cast. Done. Celeste stars swarm and orbit around her dealing crazy damage. Done. Gwyn flicks out not one, but three cards as part of her ultimate, locking down an entire enemy team? Done! Talents are collected by playing and are only available to use in Brawl modes. We've had a ton of fun playing with them internally and look forward to sharing them with you, hopefully in the first half of 2017. Our work in Brawl modes in no way indicates a departure from the classic Vainglory experiences you've come to love. In fact, by letting our more casually oriented players have fun in brawl modes, we free ourselves up to evolve the experience in standard Vainglory in new and interesting ways. There's a lot of things brewing, but for now, we're going to focus on just a few things you can expect to see in 2017. We will evolve the single band structure of draft to a double band structure in ranked play. This enables a much broader variety of team comps at the draft phase, as well as rewarding players who have deeper hero pools. We are pioneering this in esports broadcasts and working with pro teams to nail this first, and then and only then will we bring it in game. We're exploring at how to teach draft better, and we've seen some great ideas from the community, so by the end of the year, we aim to make draft available for all players. We will continuously create new heroes that will carry Vainglory's gameplay to the next level, and intend to ever deepen strategic play through new items, new mechanics in the game map, and the communication of stats and numbers so that players can refine their tactics. But perhaps the biggest project we will undertake will be the 5v5 map mode for Vainglory. The tension and adrenaline of enemies lurking around every corner is the signature Vainglory experience of 3v3. 
but we also want Vainglory to offer the large team and map size of 5v5, so players can experience massive battles and sprawling battlefields. Like our brawl modes, these will be deep, strategic, and familiar while being different, so that we can offer you new play experiences that you can choose moment to moment. We don't know if you're going to see this map mode this year, and we don't know how it's going to play when you compare it to the 3v3 we know and love, but we will evolve this together. And we are really excited to talk more about this with you later in 2017. It's important to remember that we're players too. We made Vainglory because it's the game we wanted to play on touchscreens. We're grinding away and ranked until 2 a.m. right alongside you, hopefully winning our fair share and doing those blue, bold, dev player names proud. The Cider Helms and Niv Mets and surprise birthdays under this roof will guard and protect the vainglory you know and love because we love it too. Our plan for 2017 is to make vainglory better for our existing community, whether you play for fun or competition. We also will broaden its offerings to let new players discover the immense fun that comes from playing together. We invite you to join us on this long-term journey. Play as much as possible. Make your voices heard. Help us get this right so that by the end of 2017, we can all look back with a sense of pride and accomplishment at what we've done together.